When you log into the FieldSense app, you are met by this list mode, which shows the latest data from all of your weather stations. The various measurements shown are average wind and wind gusts, precipitation, air humidity, soil temperature, air temperature, air pressure, and light incidence, which is shown with either a cloud or sun symbol. All weather parameters are measured every 10 minutes and are then shown in the app. Precipitation is accumulated and shown for the last 24 hours. But if the precipitation symbol is blue, that means that rain has fallen within the last hour. If you press Map in the bottom of the screen, you can get an overview of the location of your weather stations, as well as their most recent measurements. If you click the round button in the bottom of the screen, you can change which sensors to show on the map. If we click on List in the bottom of the screen and then click on one of the weather stations, we are met by this weather station's historical data. Here, you can choose to see your data within three different predefined time periods. If you wish to look at the data within other time periods, just click on the calendar on the top of the screen. If we stay at the 24-hour view and scroll to the bottom of the screen, we can see the weather data for all sensors within the last 24 hours. If we take a closer look at the wind graph, we can see three different conditions, green, yellow and red. The graph is green when the average wind speed at a height of 2 meters is between 0 and 3 meters per second and indicates that the average wind speed is optimal for spraying. The graph becomes yellow when the average wind speed is between 3 and 5 meters per second. Under these conditions, spraying can be performed, but one should consider factors such as wind direction, spraying equipment and drop size settings on the sprayer. The graph becomes red when the average wind speed is over 5 meters per second, which we define as bad conditions for spraying. Another factor to consider when spraying is wind gusts, which are shown as a grey line on the wind speed graph. If you place two fingers on a graph, you are able to zoom in and out again. If 4W is shown, you are met by the measurements of the latest four weeks. If we stop here, we see that the graph for growing degree days is available. The growing degree days are based on two numbers, the daily average air temperature and a basis temperature. The basis temperature in the app is 5 degrees, since this is the marking point for growth for most cereal crops. Let's have an example. On a day with an average air temperature of 17 degrees and a basis temperature of 5 degrees, the GDD number of the day will be 12. If you click on the calendar in the top of your screen, you can go back and see historical weather data for the entire growth season. You can also choose specific days where you, for example, sprayed or sowed. If you click on Customize, you can adjust the weather parameters that you wish to see data from. If we click on the gear in the top right corner and then click History Settings, then activate Compare with last year, you can now see what the weather was like during the same period last year. If you don't remember what the weather was like on your fields last year, this allows you to not only remember it, but also see the exact data, such as how much precipitation fell last year. This gives you a data set upon which you can make decisions such as converting to a different crop next year.